All right, here we go. Question number six from our college algebra homework number seven in my lab math. Here they want us to solve the following equation and they give us a logarithmic equation. So I've got that problem written down up here in my screen. Let's talk about what we've got here. Uh, first of all, I would like you to notice that in this equation there are three terms. One, two, three. Those three separate terms. And this guy is bothering me. This one does not have a logarithm. So what that means, it means that I'm going to have to get all of my log terms together on the same side and try to combine them using the properties of logarithms. Okay, so since there is this term that does not have a log, we're going to need to get this by itself on one side bringing the logs over and combining them. All right, so let's get rid of this garbage I just put, and let's see how this is going to work. So I've got the negative log base 7 of x plus 6, and I'm going to bring him over to this side so I can get my two logs together. So that'll be log base 7 of x. That's this guy coming down. Since this log is negative, when he comes over, he'll become positive log base 7 of x plus 6 equals, and now this 1 is isolated all by himself. Now, log base 7, log base 7, those bases match, and they are attached with addition, which means we're going to get to use the product rule. Addition turns into multiplication. So the two logs become 1. Do you see that? The two logs become one, and their stuff gets times. So it's going to be x times x plus 6 equals 1. Now, look what I've got at this point. I now have the log of some stuff equals a constant. Now that we have it condensed down to one log, we can now convert to an exponential. So we're going to bring the base down, switch the other two around. The 1 is going to become the power for the 7. The x times x plus 6. I'm going to go ahead and do the distributive property on the fly as I bring it down. So that'll be x squared plus 6x. And now notice the x squared that showed up makes this equation quadratic, which means I need to set it equal to zero. Man, this problem is awesome. We started with just a log equation using the properties of logs, the product rule to condense, converting to an exponential, and now we get to deal with a quadratic. All kinds of stuff going on. Man, this is awesome. All right, so here we go. 7 to the 1 is 7. Bringing it over makes minus 7, and now that gets my quadratic equal to 0. And you all know the fastest way to solve a quadratic is factoring, if it'll factor. Let's give it a shot here. Minus at the back makes the signs different. I've got an x and an x to give me x squared. Are there numbers that multiply to make 7 that subtract and make 6? Yes, there are. 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, so that factors uh, correctly. And then I can set each factor equal to 0. Moving the 7 and the 1, I'm going to get answers of negative 7 and positive 1. And I do need to check and make sure that both of those are valid. So going back to the original problem, we have log base 7 of x. And if I replace x with negative 7, notice right there that's an instant fail. I cannot take the log of a negative number. So I don't even need to write the rest of the equation down. There's an instant fail right there. And so negative 7 is not going to work. All right, so let's back that train up. 
and let's check 1. Okay, so going back to the original equation, log base 7 of x, here we're checking 1, equals 1 minus log base 7 of x plus 6 would be 1 plus 6. And this has got to work out. Now, log base 7 of 1, I think in a previous video I said no matter what the base is, if you're taking the log of 1, that's always going to be 0. 1 minus, and then in this case we're going to have log base 7 of 7. And if you do the log base 7 of 7, here notice the bases match, so they'll cancel, and the exponent will be the answer. Did you get that? Anytime the bases match, they cancel, and the exponent is the answer. So I've got 0 equals 1 minus 1, which is a true statement. 0 equal to 0. And what does that mean? That means the 1 is a valid solution. In fact, 1 is the only valid solution. Verified. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.